Hey guys, it's KJM and I'm back with the third TikTok review for last night's brand new Hallmark movie made for each other that premiered at 8 p.m. Eastern. All right, so now we're in Rachel's studio and it turns out Doris is right, the amulet is magical and Rachel's um, sculptor comes to life. This beautiful, beautiful, oh my God, can I tell you how beautiful Clay was? I mean, <laughs> I was over here like, hello Clay, call me, all right? Now, Clay and Rachel start to date. Rachel's parents immediately love her, love him. And Rachel's mom is super, super happy. Judith is happy, Rachel's mom, that Rachel's now finally dating someone because she had just kept setting her up, setting her up with all these different investment bankers and doctors. So picky, picky Rachel now has a boyfriend that everybody kind of loves. Rachel's little sister is now getting married. So she has a date. She'll have Clay as her date. In that span of time, um, David figures out that he has feelings for Rachel and he becomes very good friends with Rachel and soon very good friends with Clay. Remember, originally David was Rachel's future brother-in-law's best friend. But now he gets in, he wants to get closer to Rachel, get to know her likes, dislikes. We see the two of them bump heads. He quit being a lawyer and now he's a stand-up comedian and he's trying to go after what he wants. She wants to enter um, the Center for Art and Design, enter one of her sculptures, but she's actually super scared to do it. David pushes her to do it. Clay says if it makes you uncomfortable, because he's the perfect guy, right? Clay says if it makes you uncomfortable, you don't even need to bother to do anything. You don't have to enter this competition. Anyway... Rachel follows David's advice, enters the competition, wins it, and as she wins it, Clay proposes during her speech, okay, in front of everybody. But at the same time, Doris had ran and went and got David from his, um, it was Laugh Fest. He was supposed to head up Laugh Fest, which is really hard for a lot of comedians to get into, according to this movie. So that's his dream. So does he stay at Laugh Fest or does he go to um, Rachel's uh, Center of Art and Design um, event where she's being awarded? So of course, David chooses love. Let me tell you something. I love the Hallmark movies when the men make sacrifices. We're so used to seeing love movies where the women make sacrifices. It's awesome to see when the men make sacrifices. So David chooses love over career and he shows up for Rachel just as she's being proposed to by Clay. Now Rachel must decide in front of a whole event full of people who she really loves. And you know what? She realized there's no such thing as a perfect man. She doesn't want someone who's always going to agree with her. Okay, stay tuned for the